Hi, good morning, children. Welcome to mathematics class with me, Teacher Jocelyn. We use time as a part of our daily life, and we also use time to help drive our day every day. Last week, we learned how to tell time at the hour and half past. But today we're gonna practice telling time to the quarter hour and minutes. When we tell times, we count by fives. So today we're gonna use this skill to help us figure out other time on the clock. When the minute hand goes quarter way around the clock, we call that quarter past. When the minute hand has come three quarters away around the clock, we don't call that three quarters. We actually say it's quarter to something, because the minute hand has to turn one more quarter before it reaches the new hour. Let's look at the analog clock. What time is it according to this clock, children? First, let's look at the hour hand. The hour hand is between the numbers again. It is between which number? Yes, it is eight and nine. Remember, children, when the hour hand is between two numbers, the hour is the earlier number, so the hour is eight. Now, where is the minute hand pointing? That's right, at the number three. We are going to count by fives. We start at the twelve, which is zero, five, ten, fifteen. So, how many minutes is this showing? It's fifteen minutes. Yay! What time is the clock showing, children? Quarter past eight. It is also the same as eight fifteen. Let's look at this clock. What time is it showing, children? First, let's look at the hour hand. The hour hand is between numbers again. It is between which numbers, children? Yes, it is number eleven and twelve. Remember, children, when the hour hand is between two numbers, the hour is the earlier number. So the hour here is eleven. Now, where is the minute hand pointing? That's right, at the number nine. And so, children, we are going to count by fives. Start with twelve, which is zero, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five. So, children, how many minutes is this showing? Yes, it is forty-five minutes. Okay, children, what time is this clock showing? Great job, children! It is a quarter to twelve. A quarter to twelve is the same as eleven forty-five because it means there is a quarter of an hour left until twelve o'clock. Let's look at the example when the hour hand isn't pointing directly on the number on the face of the clock. 
You know, sometimes the minute hand isn't pointing directly at a number. Look at this analog clock. The hour hand is between which number, children? Yes, it is number seven and number eight. Which number is the hour? Yes, it is number seven. The hour is always the earlier number on the clock when it is between two numbers. Now the minute hand is near the eight, but notice it went past the eight by two. To figure out the minute, we will count by fives just like before, and then we will add two at the end. The twelve is zero, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Thirty, thirty-five, forty. Because the minute hand went past the eight by two minute, then you just add forty minutes plus two minutes. You gonna add two. After forty is forty-one, forty-two. Yeah, it's forty-two minutes. So the time here is seven and forty-two minutes. Great job. Learning to tell time may seem difficult at first, but it becomes much easier if you keep practice on it. Okay, children. You can easily tell whether the minute hand is a clock, half past, quarter past, quarter two, and minute. Thank you, children. That's all for today. I hope this video helps you to read quarter to minute. Bye. I'll see you in next video.